Does Ripple use the same format as the ISO? What impact will this have on Ripple? Will this result in a surge in the price of XRP? What should XRP investors do? Keep on watching this video to find out more so that you don't miss out on an excellent opportunity to win a giveaway of 50 XRP tokens at the end of this month. Hello guys, welcome to Whiteboard Crypto Update, the number one YouTube channel for crypto education. In today's video, we will talk about XRP, and XRP's huge announcement on how the Fed will use XRP, so be sure to stay focused. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. Now with the intro out of the way, let's get into our topic for today. Recently news broke out about the central banking system of the United States, the Federal Reserve. In an intriguing announcement on Monday, the United States Federal Reserve confirmed the adoption of the ISO 2002 payment format. It was also clear that the federal banks will implement this format for all the Fedwire fund services or FFS transactions, and Ripple already follows this payment format. That is, the ISO 2002 format. The same ISO payment format has been selected for our Ripple as well. The interesting fact to notice here was that Ripple already follows this payment format. The ISO 2002 format. This proves that Ripple had implemented this new tech quite early. But, what is the ISO 20022 format which Ripple will use? ISO 20022 is an emerging global and open standard for payment messaging. It creates a common language and model for payment data across the globe. Payment systems are already using ISO 20022 in over 70 countries will be the de facto standard for high-value payment systems of all reserve currencies, supporting 80% of global volumes and 87% of the value of transactions worldwide in the coming years, according to SWIFT. By creating a common language and model for payments data, ISO 20022 significantly improves data quality across the payments ecosystem. Richer, structured, meaningful data will enable new client experiences while enhancing compliance and efficiency. ISO 20022 is flexible enough to meet the needs of today and those of tomorrow. The ISO 20022 format will be integrated into the payment system of all the federal banks. It was created by the ISO Technical Committee TC68 Financial Services wherein a new form of messaging was introduced. To make real-time payments more efficient and easier, this payment format can be easily used for cross-border payments. This format also protects the banks and the users from money laundering activities by strengthening their security in the payment system. Usually, this format is integrated into a payment system through three stages, but the federal boards asked the banks to implement this format in one day. The ISO 20022 Registration Management Group or RMG comprises a senior industry expert nominated by registered member entities. The RMG was created in 2004 and had its first meeting in January 2005. The RMG is the highest ISO 20022 registration body. It supervises the overall registration process and reports to ISO TC68 divided by SC9. The role of the RMG is to promote and support the involvement of financial service actors to facilitate the registration and maintenance of high-quality, globally relevant ISO 20022 compliant business models for the exchange of information for financial services. The mission of the RMG is to ensure that ISO 20022 is a trusted standard providing high-quality business models for the exchange of information for financial services. The RMG defines the scope of necessary SEGs, approves business justifications for new messages, and allocates them to one or more SEGs. The RMG acts as a court of appeal in case of conflicts between the RAW, the TSG, the SEGs, and the organizations that want to develop ISO 20022 messages. Members of the RMG include Actus, Clearstream, Euroclear, European Central Bank, European Payments Council, Fix Protocol Limited, MasterCard, IFX Forum, SWIFT, Visa International, Bank of England, and RippleNet. RippleNet is represented by Marcus Trecher, the SVP Customer Success, Jeremy Light, the VP of EU Strategic Accounts, and Anthony Ralphs, the product manager. It was agreed that all federal fund reserves or FFS transactions should be conducted in this format by federal institutions. The Federal Reserve shared the news in a press release saying that the Federal Reserve Board announces the reserve banks will adopt a new message format for the Fedwire Fund Service and invites public comment on the proposal to expedite adoption. According to the U.S. Central Banking System, the change will allow for enhanced efficiency of domestic and cross-border payments and a richer set of payment data to help banks and other entities comply with sanctions and anti-money laundering requirements. The Fed will use the ISO 2022 for the Fedwire Fund Service or FFS. According to the Federal Reserve, the Fed Fedwire Fund Service is the premier electronic fund transfer service that banks, businesses, 
and government agencies rely on for mission-critical same-day transactions. Fedwire Fund Service participants benefit from the finality of payments credited to their Federal Reserve Bank master accounts. The press release said the Fedwire Fund Service is a real-time gross settlement service owned and operated by the National Reserve Bank. It enables businesses and financial institutions to transfer funds quickly and securely. The Fedwire Fund Services will now be operating under the same format as Ripple. This makes an interesting scenario for the two payment giants. The FFS is responsible for settling real-time payments that the institutions or individuals make. Hence, the FFS allows these groups to make faster and quicker payments. FFS enables real-time settlements run by Federal Reserve Banks. The system allows financial institutions and corporations to make fast transactions securely. ISO 20022 is created by experts at the International Organization for Standardization a non-governmental organization that deals with publishing standards for a wide range of spheres. A year ago, on the 1st of October, Ripple Labs announced the integration of the new payment format, and that now, it was ready for the year 2030 as well. This bold remark was made by Ashish Birla, the senior VP of product at Ripple Labs. According to a crypto expert, several currencies have been listed as ISO compliant on its Wikipedia page, but they have only mentioned RippleNet on their website. The Federal Reserve, on the other hand, did not talk about Ripple. However, SWIFT was on their list. They mentioned in the press release that SWIFT would allow its users to begin sending ISO 2022 MA messages, and it will also enable its users to receive messages through the same platform. When we talked about Ripple and ISO 2022, Ripple was thrilled to share the news as Ripple is part of the ISO 2022 Registration Management Group or RMG Standards body. The first member focused on Distributed Ledger Technology or DLT. This membership enables us to meet the needs of our 300-plus customers by helping define the future direction of cross-border payment standards to evolve the ISO 2022 standard. The world as we know it is moving forward by agreeing on a new global standard. The payment sector must continue to push ISO 2022 adoption to guarantee that this transition achieves its full potential. Ripple is in a unique position to assist its clients in fully utilizing ISO 2022 standards providing guidance. At the time this video is uploaded, XRP's price today is $1.08 with a 24-hour trading volume of $3,580,528,215. The current coin market cap ranking is number 6, with a live market cap of $50,772,062,580 and it has a circulating supply of $46,805,770,000. 3,456 XRP coins and a max supply of 100 billion XRP coins. XRP price can extend the uptrend by popping back above the green ascending trend line. Bulls need to break above this green ascending trend line so that the uptrend can move on to the next echelon of profit levels. The first profit level is $1.42, which was rejected earlier at the beginning of September. When the current favorable tailwinds keep underpinning price action in the cryptocurrency space, expect bulls to have enough steam to target $1.76 in their uptrend. A rejection of the green ascending trend line is, however, possible. It has proven its strength in the past few weeks and shows that any bearish action is still very much present in XRP price action. When current tailwinds should start to fade, expect the same in XRP price action. The 200-day SMA would break to the downside on the retest and bears would target $0.81 cents as the first profit level to lock in some profit on their short positions. As $0.78 cents is very close to the first profit-taking level in the downtrend, expect the downtrend to be relatively short-lived. Well, guys, that's all we have for you today. What is your take on this? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. If you guys like this video, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you don't want to miss out on any new future videos then be sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification under this video so that you're notified the next time we upload a video on the latest XRP and cryptocurrency news. Until the next video comes out, you can watch our other videos about XRP or other cryptocurrencies. Thank you for watching, and we will see you again in the next video goodbye.